find somebody. And go back to the Omniforce. Go back to them, Ben. I can't. Not... Not for a while. I can't trust Ben. And the damage to the Haywire, it got to me, Gwen. Nothing has ever gotten to me before, but this got to me. I'm alone, Gwen. I have nobody, and I don't know what to do. I've been out here for years trying to find somebody, someone, something to become whole again, and I can't. Not even the light or the dark wants me. I'm broken, Gwen, and I don't know if I'll ever be whole again. Oh, what, what are you? Why are you there? Hey, come back here, come back. Stop, who are you? What do you want? What do you want? I'm done trying. I give up. I can't do this anymore. Who are you? Why did you take me away? And where am I? It's time I take you to him. Here we are. Goodbye, Tennessee. Well, thanks for the explanation. Hello, Benjamin. Who? What? Where are you? I do not have a physical form. I am everyone. I am everything. I am the spiritual master. Do you work for the light? I am just here to guide you to your true potential. Yeah, you know, you sound a lot like Ben right now, and I don't like Ben. I am not with Ben any longer. We have been disconnected from each other. He has been disconnected from the light. and you need healing. Would you like me to take a physical form? Well, that would help. Okay. Oh, you have to be joking. Really? Really. Why did you leave the Omniforce? Because Ben... Don't do that. I know when you're telling the truth. I might know you better than you know yourself at the moment. Why did you leave the Omniforce? Because I'm broken. And Ben, I don't know what he knows. He's gone and he's lost and he doesn't know what to do. And he just told me that he sent the kids to fight the dark. They're kids! Ben could die! Yes. And do you disagree with him for this? Yes, I dis- He was my friend and I trusted him and he lied to me. He lied to you because he was the dark at the time. It doesn't matter, he could have overcome. Are you sure you're just not jealous? Jealous of him? No! He was a leader, and I followed him blindly. I was never jealous of being the leader. But are you jealous that he had both the dark and the light? Do you feel unworthy? That you were not chosen? I don't know. I could have, do you know that you could have? Because it is easy to think. If I had this ability, then I would do something different. Ben is having to learn the light just as you are. He knows just as much as you, and he has the light. 
doesn't automatically know more or less. You need to focus now and listen to the words I say. There is no light in dark. There is no light. There is no dark. Everything is one. Everything is one. There is no light in dark. Everything is one. Everything is one. There is no light in dark. Everything is one. It's you. There is no light in dark. Everything is one. We are one. There is no light in dark. Everything is one. Ben, what the haywire did to you happened. And what you did is the haywire happened. You need to make peace with it and move on. Because there is nothing you can change about it. It is a part of you. Accept and let go. Accept and let go. Know who you are. Know who you truly are. I'm not the light. I'm not the dark. I'm not him. I'm not the leader. And that's okay. Because I am Ben. Very good, Ben. Come on. We need to talk about a few more things. The first step to becoming one and whole again is accepting who you are. Let go of your earthly tether and become one with the universe, the cosmos. Be true to who you are and find your true self. You need to become one with yourself. How do I become one with myself? You need to unlock all of your chakras. Your root chakra is located at the base of the spine. It is the closest to earth. Its function is concerned with earthly grounding and physical survival. Then, you don't have to survive. You can be yourself. It controls your fight and flight response. And it is blocked by paranoia or fear. Think about what you are most fearful of and let it go. The haywire, it, it broke me. It damaged, it damaged me. I hurt a lot of people as a haywire and I'll never go it again. Ben, what happened to you as a haywire is now a part of you. It happened and you must accept it to move on. You cannot let yourself be held back when fighting by thinking of what happened to you as a haywire. Turn around and let it go. You broke me. You were the reason for me leaving. And it's done. You're not gonna break me again. You're not gonna hold me back any longer. Very good now, Ben. Now come. The next chakra is located between the base of the spine and the navel. It is the navel chakra. You must decide what it is that you are most mentally damaged by, emotionally, and let it go. This chakra concerns your emotions and your sexuality as a human. Think about what has emotionally damaged you, Ben. Think about it all. I never should have dragged you into the Omni Force, and now you're dead. Gwen, I love you so much, and I miss you every day. And I'm sorry I let you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. I'm so sorry, Gwen. Please, forgive me. Very good, Ben. You have felt a great deal of pain in your life, and I am sorry. But making amends had to be done, and you're just one step closer to becoming your true self. The Ned's Chakra is the solar plexus. It is dealt with emotions, laughter, happiness, 
and anger. Think about what angers you and let it go. Forgive it. You lied to me, Ben. And you got my family killed and you turned your back on me when I needed you the most. You got us into this mess and now you can't even fix it. I might never see my family again and everyone might be dead and now the rest of the universe will be controlled by the dark. I'm sorry, Ben. I never meant to. I just wanted the best for everybody. You and Ben have quarreled a lot, and one is to not say who is right and wrong. There is no good and evil. There is only oneself. Very good, Ben. You must make amends with him one day. Truly make amends. To live a happier life. A fuller life. Let us move on. The next chakra is the heart. It deals with love, but it is blocked by a lack of humanity and uncompassion. What have you done, Ben, that is inhumane and that you regret doing? Think about your darkest days. I killed Elaine. I almost killed Ben. You have done a lot of taking of the life, but you have also given it Ben, by saving people and being a hero, you have given up your own life in doing so and in joining the Omniforce. Forget about the bad and focus on the good. You are Ben. You are loving and you are a hero. Think about the life you took as well and let it go. Vow to never take a life again. And to realize that all life is sacred. All life is sacred. I will never kill again. Very good, Ben. Let us move on. The next chakra is the third chakra. It deals with creativity, expression of oneself, and honesty. It is blocked by a creative block and dishonesty. What have you been dishonest about? What are lies that you've told yourself or another that has hurt you and hurt them? I told myself that Ben didn't want me in the Omni Force, that I was gone and that I should leave and be alone for the rest of my life. I wasn't trying to find people out there, I knew they were all gone. I was trying to find myself. Very good, Ben. Make peace with the fact that you are broken and that you can be healed as well as your relationship with the Omniforce and that one day you can come back. Ben wanted me to come back and I didn't. I left him. I could have gone into the alien surge and it wouldn't have been the kid. What is done is done, Ben. Make peace and forgive. Tell yourself the truth. Very good now, Ben. Let's move on. And while you're at it, you need to tell me the truth. Well, yeah. What do you want to know? Do I look kind of short? Because I feel kind of short in this body. Should I change form? No. Your, your form is great. Very good, Ben. That was a test. One of the last chakras is the brow chakra or the third eye chakra. It is located in the center of the forehead and deals with your spirituality. Think about your spirituality, Ben. Do you believe in the light and the dark? Do you know what they are and are you one with them even if you're not one with them? Have you made peace with them? This is blot by a lack of spirituality and a lack of foresight. I didn't take Ben being in the dark as an excuse. 
I felt like he could have helped some way. And in reality, he had no control over his actions. It was a miracle that he even beat it and became the light. And I blame the light for not fixing this. I see now that it is okay that I am not the light, and that Ben is the best choice, not me. There is a master plan to all of this. We are all one, and we are all connected. One piece fits into a bigger hole, and every piece is needed. Very good, Ben. Very insightful. He would be proud of you. Thanks. The last chakra is the crown chakra. It deals with your spirituality as a whole and your destiny. It is blocked by earthly attachments. You cannot transcend and be your true self without detaching yourself from the world. Except that tomorrow you can be gone and that reality as a whole can change. Let go your earthly tether bin. Enter yourself, become one with yourself, and transcend. I need you to see this. It's time to become a true hero. So much power! Gats being completely the dark now. They need you more than ever. I will. Thank you for everything. It has been my pleasure. And tell Ben that there is no light and dark. Everything is one. It'll help him. I can't tell him that until he finds his real self. I will. Thank you. I'm going home. No more secrets, Rick. I have to tell them everything. I want to tell them everything. They deserve to know. Okay, Ben. I'll give you a minute to think. Thank you, Rick. I can't begin to think of the right things to say. The things you must be feeling right now here in my voice. I was wrong. I should have never left. I was lost and broken and deceived. I don't think it's okay. It was my fault. I created the Omni Force. I created this. I was not open about it, and I had my own plan for the dark and for the light, and not for you. I thought I could fix everything, and I thought I could save everyone, and I thought I could finally be the one to defeat the dark. And I'm sorry about that because I realize now that that was not fair to you. You must be. There's about a thousand things running through my brain and only one running through my mouth. You must hate me right now. No, Ben. No. I'm so glad you're home. I'm so glad you're here, and that you found your way, and that your way led back to me. I was so scared and alone for five years, and I kept looking for people. I kept searching for someone, anyone, and I could not find them. 
And then I found the spiritual master. And he helped me. You... What did he say to you? He told me things. He told me about myself and he helped me unlock my spirituality and fully connect with it. And he taught me about the light and the dark. About what they really are. What they mean to me. Come with me, Ben. I think it's time. Time you know the truth. Hello? Is anybody there? Spiritual master, is that you?